Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from Air Repair Autos. Today we're going to be looking at a video, more like a blast from the past video, showing you how to remove, replace, clean your mass airflow sensor on your Mercedes ML350. Part number is down in the description. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Let's go. Okay, so I'm looking under the hood of the 2006 Mercedes uh, ML350. In order to get to the mass airflow uh, sensor, let's start off by just removing a couple things. Gonna take off this cover. We're gonna then disconnect the air intake hoses. There's a left side and there's a right side. Going to the back of the air filter housing, there's a clip right back here we're gonna take that off we then take off the hose in the front to remove this housing you just snap this side up and snap this side up it's held by clips that are not easy to break so you don't have to worry so you snap it up and, and then you're gonna remove you're gonna remove it that's the airflow mass sensor right there MAF and um, sometimes when you have these kind of readings what you want to do is you want to disconnect this electrical connection here and uh, start the engine up and see how it runs if it runs worse or if it runs better well in the case where it runs better then you might have uh, faults with the mass airflow sensor another thing we're gonna look for is leaks and these leaks will be on or around the mass airflow sensor, this whole unit, and any other connections that might have uh, to do or pertain to uh, air that might be coming in. Next, disconnect the electrical connection that's connected to the mass airflow sensor. And then removing it, just popping it out. There are some clips that will hold the mass airflow sensor in place. We depress that and then remove it. At this point, the mass airflow sensor is removed. Some folks like to clean them and try to get them going again. Most of the time, that may not work. And the best thing to do is to replace it. So I'm going to use a general purpose mass airflow uh, sensor cleaner and I'm purposely hiding the uh, the brand because I'm not promoting or pushing any brand or any store. Let's go to your local parts store. Let's go to your local parts store and um, pick yourself up a can. comes with a nozzle. So you can direct it right onto the uh, section that you want to clean. All right. So I, I already sprayed it some, but you're just gonna clear those wires. That's where the uh, oxygen passes across the air, actually, and the computer is able to read it. So I've already cleaned them liberally, but you see those two wires there, and I got it from the other side as well. And I'm just going to let this dry for about half an hour or so. It dries pretty quickly, but I just want to make sure it's thoroughly dry. I don't recommend putting any um, air on it or any, uh, don't, definitely don't blow on it or try to wipe it dry. Just let it evaporate. And uh, once it's completely dry, then you can put it back inside the vehicle. After looking at this mass airflow sensor, look and see that the bracket is broken. Someone attempted to re-glue it, but that's preventing it from seating properly to the engine and causing the leak. At this point, it makes sense to just go ahead and uh, purchase the new bracket. And if that's not available, then you might want to get a new mass airflow sensor, but the bracket should be available. All right, I'm going to put back the uh, mass airflow sensor. 
and it only goes in one way. It has a clip in the back and um, yeah. make sure it's seated properly so that you don't create another leak. The bracket that I just showed you that's broken will clip into the engine mount right at that uh, point. Connect the uh, electrical cable that we just disconnected. Goes only only goes in one way. Goes in with a click. This is the upside down bezel air filter here, air filter here. And this goes over the mass airflow sensor. This is a rubber gasket. And um, these clips, four of them, actually connect uh, right here on the engine block. One, two, and then on the other side. Right there. And right there, there is also that clip in the back that we're going to, once it's, everything is seated, this one, make sure my lighting is good, this clip right here will come on top, right here, okay, so it clicks in, keeps everything down. Once everything is connected back properly, those brackets are in place. This hose right here is connected to the uh, air intake return. Then this bracket is visible and clickable when this cover is up and in the right position. All right. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. To my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other mercedes owners drivers do-it-yourselfers can find them easier thanks and peace out